hello guys welcome back to another android app development tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how to customize our buttons using text color and background attribute however there are so many attributes like margin padding font family and taking all these attributes together we can make the style of our button better hi my name is subhajit and i make videos on android app development tutorial so if you are new in this channel then please consider subscribe and hit the like button that encourage me to make more contents. So let's get started. So in this activity main.xml we have already created two buttons. And if you want to know how to add a button and implement the click event then you should watch our last two videos link will be visible at the right top corner or in this video description all right to customize a button we can use android background attribute to change the background color and for text color we can use text color attribute so first i'm going to change the background color of our next button so background then at color color red and you can see the button's background color has been changed to red okay next thing we'll be changing the text color so add the text color attribute and this time i'll be using android color resources instead of at color resource so at android colon color white and you can see the changes now let's increase the text size using text size attribute uh, let's say 30 sp let's also add some padding to the left and to the right side of our button next so padding left let's say 16 dp then padding right 16 dp also now we can run our code to see all the changes as you can see guys as expected the next button's color is red now but if i press that button you can see there are no such color for buttons pressed state right so if you want to achieve that thing you can do so by using selected driver and that is what i'm going to show you next now to create a selected driver first right click on the driver folder then new then select the driver resource file let's name it button bg color then make sure that you have the root element as selected now ok let's switch over to the split view and here we can edit our selected driver so here i'm going to set a color for a specific state like enable state so angle bracket item android state and as you can see there are so many states that you can use inside the selected driver but for a simple button we just need state enabled and state pressed so here i'm going to select state enabled and passing a boolean value true then inside this item tag we need to have our color so angle bracket color then at color color state enabled and close this color tag so i have already defined this color inside the colors.xml as you can see these are the three colors we are going to use for every single state okay now we have to create another item for disable state so item state enabled false which means the disabled state then color color state not enabled 
Now let's add our final item for state pressed and pass the value true. Then color at color color state pressed. Now we must have to cut this pressed state item and place it at the top. Otherwise pressed state colors will be visible as always. So keep your state pressed at the first place. Now let's move on to the activity main.xml and set this selected drivel. So here I will pass selected drivel instead of a static color. At drawable button bg color. And you can see the button's color has been changed now. Let's test it again. So black color is for the enabled state. But if I press the button, it's red. So you can see the pressed state and the enabled state's color. But for disable state, we can use enable attribute and set its value false. So enable false. As you can see the button's color is gray now, which means button is in the disable state. So let's just enable it again by passing the true value. Now I'm going to show you how to use rectangle save for our buttons so that we can take full advantages like we can change the corner radius and also we can set some gradient colors then. Anyway, now let's just move on to the selected drawable, which is the button BG color. And here I'm just going to replace this color tag with a shape. So angle bracket, shape, then shape, rectangle, and inside this shape, we can define the gradient colors. But for now, I'm going to use solid one. So angle bracket solid then color at color color state pressed now to make our buttons corners little bit rounded we can use corners tag and set the radius let's say 5 db now we also have to create another shape for state enabled and state disabled so i'm going to copy these lines and paste it in this state enable true. Let's copy this color and replace this state color pressed. So we don't need this color tag for now. Now let's create our final shape for state enabled false, which means the disabled state. So again, I'm going to copy this shape and paste it in here. Now I'll copy this color, replace it, then remove this color tag. Perfect. Now inside the activity main.xml, you will see the changes. Yes, you can see all the corners are 5 dp rounded. Anyway, let's just run on my Android device. As you can see guys, all the corners are little bit rounded. Let's press it. See the red color for state pressed. So now you know how to create shapes inside selected drawable for our button. But what if we have our shapes in a separate XML?